It sounds like a story straight out of Hollywood, but it's actually happening right here in Iowa. A fashion designer landing a collaboration with one of the world's largest fashion retailers. Reporter Lindsay Burrell from KCAU 9 sister station in Des Moines introduces us to the woman behind the clothing. For Belange Matinda, fashion wasn't something that she ever considered as a career. I didn't know the term fashion design because like back then, honestly, in my country, fashion was not a thing. But while growing up in the Democratic Republic of Congo, she found her love for design after one of her classmates noticed her creations and wanted their own pieces. She brought me, I think it was like a blouse, like a leopard print. I made a um, handbag for her. She went home, her sisters loved it, she brought me more clothes. And then next thing you know, everybody at school started bringing me clothes and I started making handbags, backpacks, like literally anything. Inspiring her to look at design as a career path rather than just a hobby and launching the start of her business, Belange Handmade, with only $10. In the $10 that she gave me, that was like my first, uh, like first sale, but also my capital. Looking to study fashion, Balaj considered moving to places like Beijing, China, or the global fashion capital, France, to pursue her dream. But her family discovered DMAC and instantly thought. The morning was like, well, that's a French name. Maybe they speak French there. <laughs> like, okay, maybe. Only to find out. Nobody spoke French. <laughs> I didn't mean anybody who spoke French. But soon she found Iowa to be home, studying fashion design and merchandising at DMAC, getting her bachelor's degree in apparel at Iowa State, before moving for her master's degree at LIM College in New York City, only to end up back at Iowa State working towards her PhD. Well, Iowa has been my second home away from my home country. So I was like, okay, I think I belong there. I need to go back. It was then that Belange looked for ways to grow her business by collaborating with other brands, getting involved with the Shein X Designer Incubator Program, which allows smaller designers to have their creations mass produced. And then it just went from there. Like I submitted my sketches, I designed all my prints, and then it went to production. I got my first samples. It was so exciting to see all my like my sketches coming to life. And in September of 2023, her first collection went live with Shein, starting off with four pieces and growing from there, with each piece giving a nod to home. My inspiration comes uh, from my country, so I always try to incorporate my African roots in all my designs. Incorporating vibrant colors and floral patterns with modern silhouettes and fabrics to create one-of-a-kind, ready to wear pieces now worn all around the world. After 10 years, like I, I would say if like younger me would see what I'm doing now, she would be so surprised. A humbling experience that Belange says still comes with pinch me moments. Sometimes it gives me to like when I'm designing, I'm like, yeah, I'm designing for Shein. And I'm like, wait, I'm designing for Shein. <laughs> and using her skills behind the sketchbook to give back, yeah. donating a percentage of revenue from her business to help women back home. And I started a nonprofit, so I help uh, low-income women in my home country to get access to uh, period supplies, to fight period poverty. So seeing my design going places, it's like you're adding one piece to a closet, but you're also giving something to another woman. And her time collaborating with Shein is far from over. We were able to get a sneak peek of what's to come. I finished working on my spring uh, and summer 2025 collection uh, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, the designs have already been approved. They're currently, uh, we're making the samples, so I can't wait to see them. Making her mark on the fashion world from right here in Iowa.